Hi everybody, Father Andrew here. For those of you who don't know me, your not so long suffering pastor. Well, if you caught my homily at the Easter Vigil last week, you may have, uh, you see that I alluded to the fact that we are a bit like the early Christians, not allowed to gather in our own church to celebrate the mass. Those early Christians had to gather in each other's homes or in the catacombs. Of course, we are under a lockdown order. We don't know how long that's going to last, but here we are in the Easter season. So I thought I would introduce you to our beautiful Easter candle this year. Every year we change the Easter or the Paschal candle. We lit it at our Easter vigil service. It's the symbol of Christ risen, Christ the light of the world. A few things to note on our candle, we have the year 2020, that's the number of years since Christ was born as a human, became one like us. Uh, we have the Greek letters Alpha and Omega, that's the beginning and the end of the Greek alphabet because Christ is the beginning and the end. Of course, we have the cross on the candle representing Christ's sacrificial act for us and embedded in the cross are five grains of incense which represent the five sacred wounds of Christ. On our candle this year, we have the symbol, same symbol we have on our altar cloth and on our banners, that's the Easter lamb, the symbol of Christ victorious and risen. And then right down at the bottom here in another medallion, we have two more Greek letters, the Chi and the Rho, which are the first two letters of Christ. That would have been used as ancient graffiti by the uh, first Christians to denote places of prayer, places of pilgrimage, a safe house. The Cairo was part of the secret code used by the Christians to identify each other. So that's our Easter candle. You will see it lit throughout this whole season of Easter as we continue to live stream our masses on Sunday mornings, nine o'clock in English and approximately 10.30 dies y media en español, mass in Spanish at approximately 10.30. So do tune in, follow us live, or if you can't make it first thing on the Sunday morning, do copy and share with others, post it, it will be available. There's a link from our website, stlukeparish.com, or you can access it through the Facebook pages of the church, the school, or the religious education and youth Facebook pages.